All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great mules, son of Dura Will, and salutations and blessings to you, that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, uh, we just want to get into this quick in transit. Hey, um, we go title it, it's always better to wait. It's always better to wait, you know? With any, with, and you, you can look at this in, in, in any way, all right, through the spirit. I, you can you can wait on you know eating a meal, you know it'd be much much more uh, savior, you know it tasting better to you, you know it uh, it uh, you know feel feel your spirit better. All right, dealing with a woman, man. Sometimes you can hey wait wait you know you would be so hot to want to you know get up in her, you know. But when you wait and really build that relationship with it, it, it it'd be better sometimes, you know. So hey, dealing even even in this in this life that we in right now, not trying to live this fast life and trying to you know get money. Right now, women upon women and, and, and fame in this world, you know, seeking our own glory, all right? Because that's all gonna come if we wait, if we be patient, all right? If we just wait on Yahweh Bashim Al Shad, then, hey, we're gonna get all these these marvelous things, man. We're gonna be kings of all these nations that that are upon the, the planet Earth, all right? It says that uh, we, we're gonna rule, uh, judging the, the the twelve tribes of Israel, all right? And the Lord says He's gonna give us back a hundredfold of everything that we lost, everything that we forsook. You know, so hey man, it, it, it's always better to wait on your hard by Shemal Shai. Uh, I got a precept for you. Huh? Just well, let me, uh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to read this first. Uh, this uh 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, uh, 16. It says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. All right? So hey, we're we not trying to be this this great macho man, you know, in this in this flesh, in this world, man. All right, we're just trying to be humble. All right, do what we need to do for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, killing this flesh. All right, putting ourselves in, in subjection and things that we want to do. All right, otherwise, what? In 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter says that, hey, we will be castaways, man. All right, we don't want to be castaways. We have to be temperate in all things. So it says, verse 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this, 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 light affliction this little affliction that we going through man all right hey we ain't got a woman uh, uh you, you may not have a car and all these things man hey just endure it suck it up man up you know hey, hey guess what hey, it's gonna work to an eternal weight of glory we're gonna get marvelous things in the kingdoms man uh, in the kingdom all right hey, things that our mind has never even seen can't even fathom we're gonna get you know but it says while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen all right we don't look at at this world man we don't look at the, this world as the future we look at this kingdom of heaven as the future that's why we land up our treasures in heaven uh -huh. says for the things which are seen are temporal right everything here is going to be destroyed according to second peter's the third chapter it's all going to be it's all going to be missed with fire man but the things which are not seen are eternal we don't see the kingdom right now we don't see Esau, Edom, and, and, and chains, the nations under our feet. We don't see Yahweh Shah in his glory, in his glory right now. No. Alright, we see Esau Edom ruling right now. We see these nations still ruling. But guess what? We see them going down, man. That's right. So hey, hey, uh, hey, if we just continue to wait on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, never lose that patience and that focus on his truth. And we're gonna get uh, marvelous things, man. In eternal glory, in eternal weight. Alright? So um you you got oh, it's like I got one. This is uh, James 5 and 8. It says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. It says, Behold, husband, man, waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early latter rain. Be ye also patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Drive nigh. Right, man. So like the brother was going into, man, about being patient, man. You got to be patient, man. All right? Can't can't rush things, man. Cause cause at the end of the day, we on the Lord's time, man. All right, we on Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai's time, man. All right. Uh, uh, what the scripture say? Um, um, su uh, patience. You know, patience going to suffering. Oh, yeah, you, you, yeah, look for a search. Uh, uh, I got yeah. one real quick. That's a good one. Uh, uh, yeah. Get that uh, Sirach, the end of Sirach. Sirach 16 and 13. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Yep, and that word frustrate means going to uh, basically vain, being of, made of no effect. 
So let's say the uh, can you read the first part again? The sinner shall not escape with his spoil. Two thirds of our people are having pledge on unrighteousness, doing all the things that the heavenly Father uh, have, uh, that He hates right now. But hey, ultimately they're going to be judged for those things, right? When the Lord comes back with those righteous rewards and those also those uh, rewards for the wicked of our people, destruction, right? Mm -hmm. It says, "In the patience." Of the godly shall not be frustrated. So our patience, a, as the a, as the brother mentioned, a patience goes into suffering. So a, a, us, a patiently waiting on the salvation of the Lord, uh, uh, us making these sacrifices. A, 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 a the, the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews, the Lord is not right to get our works and labor of love. That's right. A, 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 our patience and us hoping in Him that's included in that. So a, what we're gonna receive? A, a, we're gonna receive a glorious kingdom. You know, we're going to receive everything that we so-called lose right now or missing out on because we're not really missing out on anything hey but we're gaining everything uh doing this well doing right now that's right, yes. right. hey we, and we hey if you if you if you may have a weak body right now man you know hey the lord is going to give us new bodies he's gonna he, we're going to be new everything is going to be renewed for us man you know so hey man the greatest thing for us to do is wait that's the best thing that you can ever do is wait on your heart about shot I got another one real quick. Huh? The needful thing. Out of Sirach, no? Yeah. This Sirach 30, uh, Sirach 39 and 33, it says, All the works of the Lord are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. So hey, wait on the Lord. Ultimately, do what the Lord uh, requires of us right now. And hey, we're going to have our time to reign, have our time to rule, have our time to receive things, you know. But first, we got to do the will of the Lord right now. Put aside, hey, we got to lose our lives. Hey, ultimately to find our life in Yahweh Shemel Shai. So hey, just do the work of the Lord now and the Lord gonna give you everything else later. It's as simple as that. Sooner than later. That's right. That's right. I got one right there. I got that Romans. Yeah, you hit that. I got that Romans 5. Uh, so I, this is Romans 5 and 1. I'm starting from the top. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach. By whom also we have access by faith unto his unto this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations right. also, knowing that tribulation work in patience, man. Okay. Alright, so the longer we go through these things, man, humbly. Alright. Hey, we gotta keep waiting on the Lord, man. Alright. As long as we keep doing uh going through these tribulations, losing things, man. Alright, because we're gonna gain it back like a prime example with women, man. We fuck these women, man. We lose and we go get them back a, a hundredfold, man. All yeah. right? But as long as we suffering, man, going through these things, man, hey, the Lord's got us, man. Yeah. Long, but the key is, man, we got to be patient, man. We on the Lord's time, man. All right? We can't rush the Lord's time, man. We on his time, man. We can't. We got to suffer, man. All right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, that's right. Yeah, because that, that tribulation is, is going to work. Uh, right. That patience. Mm -hmm. All right? Because you have to wait on the Lord. Yield a peaceable fruit. It's some more in that Romans. Yeah, it's some more. Uh, that. Yeah, come on, woman, keep going. Con, yeah, yeah. You hear yeah. the first part again? Come on, woman, go out for the top again. Con. This is Romans 5 and 1. It says, therefore, be justified by faith. No, no, no. Hit the uh, point where it says. Uh, 3. Yeah. Oh, come on, come on. This is Romans 5 and 3. It says, not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Right. Going through tribulations, going through hardships, going through different afflictions. Hey, ultimately, hey, it's a sign that the Lord is dealing with you, right? Con. So when you go through those things and endure those things, hey. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It says, knowing that tribulation work of patience. Right. You 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 get accustomed to it and you okay. And this time I get through it okay. You get used to it. You get more uh, endured with it. Uh, uh, and experience. And patience and experience. Uh -huh. And experience hope. Right. right. So it, it, ultimately, it, it ultimately builds up your faith. That's right. Uh -huh. Going through those different afflictions getting and the Lord helping you get through them. Then you get accustomed to it and it, it ultimately builds into your faith. That's right. You know? Uh, I got one back there, like, no, it's, it's a one more one. Oh, one more. One. Yep. And it says, this is verse 5. And it says, And hope make it not a shame. Right. Because the love of Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is in uh, which is given to us. Right. So it's gonna it's gonna make you uh very close to Yahweh Shem Al Shah. You know, they, your faith is gonna be extremely strong in the Lord, going through all these things and just steady patiently waiting on the Lord, because now you're gonna see it. All right, you're gonna know that Yahweh Shemal Shai is truly real, and He's really dealing with us. You know, He's gonna give us everything that that we want. All right, that we so hope for. I got one for you. This is James one, and I start verse two. It says, "My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this 
that the train the train of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, right. that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Right. And the scriptures talk about how we have to arm ourselves likewise as our Lord Yahweh Shai. Hey, Yahweh Shai, he said, This is not my kingdom. And he said, Let the will of the Lord be done. Mm -hmm. All right? So the Lord, he had that patience, that endurance, and he left us the perfect example of it. So now we have to have that patience in the Lord, have that enduring spirit, that long suffering. And ultimately, we're waiting on the Lord. This is the Lord's time, as the brother Yaqua Baha said. This is the Lord's time, man. So we're gonna be so doing, going through this, going through this trial, will end up in us being perfect. Lord, will we endure? Entire, wanting nothing. That's right. And that's that perfect work of patience. I got this Psalms right quick. Psalms 33. Verse 20, it says, Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our hope and our shield. So hey, our soul is waiting on the Lord. And that comes with whatever trial we have to go through, whatever thing we have to <clears throat> endure. And hey, it ultimately makes us better people for the Lord, better men of the Lord. Having that uh, uh, that attribute of long-suffering and patience. Because our Lord, he's long-suffering. Our Lord, uh, um, he gives us the way to ultimately uh, suffer in the thing and get through it. Right. I got uh, one more. It's Lamentations 3 and 24. It says, The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. That's right. And the scriptures say, Wait ye upon me. Yeah. And the Lord said, wait ye upon me. No matter what you do, no matter what you uh, uh, may feel like, no matter what you may think, you're going to have to wait on the Lord regardless. You're going to have to wait in certain situations regardless because there's no way out yeah. unless the Lord gets you out of it. Yeah, hey, 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 uh, Jonah said that he was in hell, you yes. know, in, in, in uh, the belly, you know, the belly of that great fish. You know, it said, it said that he was in hell, man. In a very bad condition, a hard, a hard time, a bad time, man. And guess what? Hey, he waited for Yahweh Bashim al He had no choice. And it's the same way for us. All right? We can't lose faith in the Lord just because we may be in a, a bad predicament. We may be in a bad state of mind. <laughs> you know, you may feel like feel like you're not worthy. You may feel like you're not shit. Or whatever, man. But still, you got to continue to hold your faith strong in the Lord. Because if you lose your faith in the Lord, hey, then hey, you, hey, you done, man. You don't have anything to protect you. You don't have no hedge. I know demons are, are gonna are gonna man they're gonna overtake you and destroy you. You know? And it says that uh, uh um there's gonna be seven but seven more demons take hold of you uh worse than the first one. You know, so hey man, hey, hey, stay stay in the in the faith of y'all by Shemal Shah, man. That's right. Um I got one real quick. This first Corinthians shot the 15 and 58. Yeah, um, well, you know, I'm going to start at 51. It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So, hey, we're all going to be changed, man. We're all going to get new bodies. Our minds are going to be renewed. We're going to be cleansed. We're going to be healed. And we're never going to be sick again. We're never going to feel pain again. Yeah. All, right. all right. We're going to be total gods. And it says, hey, we're going to be super men and super women, you know. Uh, for waiting. That's right. For waiting. It says, in a moment... In the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on uh, um, um, immortality. All right, and they, how are we going to do that? Having these law, statutes, commandments, and, and grafted into our spirit, and grafted into us, man. Are right, we going to be made new creatures? You know? Right. Never sinning again, never being able to die again. And we're going to overcome death. As our Lord Yahweh Shai did. Says, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then, sh then shall be brought to pass uh, the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? And it says, O grave, where is thy victory? Right? And now look. <laughs> and we already got the victory because of what? Our patience, our, our hope, our faith. This is First John 5 and verse... Uh, four it says whatsoever is born of Yahweh overcometh the world and this is the victory that that overcometh the world even our faith <laughs> who is who is he that overcometh the world but he that believe it 
that Yahweh Shai is a son of Yahweh. So we believe that Yahweh that Yahweh Shai is a son of Yahweh. We believe the record of Yahweh Shai from the top to the bottom. All right, the volume of the book, we believe it all, man. So guess what? We have already overcome this world. We already have the victory in, in, in our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, and, we, and, and, and as long as we just continue to hold that faith and, and, and believe that, you know, wholeheartedly in our man, hey, we're gonna get we're gonna get all these glorious things. It says for uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 56, it says the sting of death is sin because we're going to overcome that uh -huh. right, with, the, with our new bodies. And the strength of sin is the law. But but thanks be to our power, which give it us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. So we got the victory through Yahweh Shai, through that sacrifice that, that Yahweh Shai uh, um, did for us, man. All right, going on that cross, doing his marvelous great works, holding his faith strong in, in Yahweh. All right, hey, now, now we got the victory as long as we hold our faith strong and Yahweh Shai. Uh, so it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All right, so hey, us working, hey, hey doing, doing our very best for Yahweh Shai, and hey, we're gonna get, we're gonna get uh, these great things, the new, hey, we're gonna get the kingdom, we're gonna get women, all right, we're gonna get chariots, man. All, all kinds of great things. I hey, mean, we're going to get a hey, Super Saiyan powers. Uh, <laughs> you know, we're going to be flying around, man. We're never going to be tired again. Man, Shit, hey, man, man. I'm a young man, man. I'll be tired as hell, man. man. You know, hey, man, this place is vexing, man. It says that it, that it uh, um, what, we, weary the prophets? Yeah, where are the saints? You know? So, hey, all we got to do is keep working, man. And at times, it is going to be hard. You know, but hey, we just got to keep going. Yeah, one more stretch. Come Anybody read Isaiah the 40th chapter? Blah. Uh, this is Isaiah 40 and 31. And it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Con, read, uh, read, read 29. Con. And uh, uh, 30. 29 and 30. Con. Uh, 29 and 30. That's, yeah, that, that's this, it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how. <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter, what was that? Chapter 40 Four, yep, yep. and verse 29. It says, He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might be increased. So it's like it. Have no might, he increased the strength. Yep. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Yeah, shit, you young man, you're a young man and you tired. God. You know, you vexed. Uh, and it says, and the young man shall utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Sorry. All right, so that's going back to, you know, the Lord is going to change us, man, like the brothers wanted to, man. All right, we ain't going to get tired no more, man. All right, we're going to have new bodies, man. All right, we're going to have a, a, ultimately a whole new mindset, man. We're not going to be in this same fleshy-ass mindset that we in right now, man. All right? Sorry. That's why it's good to wait on the Lord, man. All right? Because we just read it. The, uh, the reward for him, uh, the reward for us waiting on him, man. All right? Hope we are part of that number. We can get changed, man. All right? But that's why we got the confidence and the patience and the, uh, the humility to wait on the Lord, man. That's right. All right? That's right. So, hey. We pray this lesson was edifying. We would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhak Kodash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals, and that do her will, and salutations and blessings to you, I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom, and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.